Hi everyone, another success story for you and it's from Rapunz. I have known about the law of attraction since I was 16 years old. Despite of it, I have been through many ups and downs, but the only thing that gets me up has always been exactly the law of attraction. I realize now that I'm living the life of my dreams. I have successfully attracted my dream job, a good education, a car, boyfriends and money over the years. I now come to understand it is all about the law of attraction and our focus. Here is my specific story I would like to share with you all. I will start with the bad and unfortunately sad part. My boyfriend who I love deeply passed away last year, but I will tell you how we got together thanks to the law of attraction. In the beginning of our relationship, I had a boyfriend who moved abroad and he had others in his life as well. He liked me. We worked together. We had so much fun during our shifts and our minds were like one. An attraction appeared between us and it grew and grew. Then it all began. Months of uncertainty, whether he wants a relationship with me or other two girls. He wasn't over them yet. He truly had a pure soul though. He left after and a misunderstanding. I felt so bad. I even got drunk for the first time in my life. So after more than a year of on and off again, he said he absolutely didn't want to be with me anymore. And then I remembered the law of attraction and I decided to use it. I started to feel better no matter what. I started a gratitude journal, thanking for whatever I could see during the day. I started to look for the good in others. I listened to happy couples in my life. I sent prayers and love to him through God. I was singing the song, That's the Way It Is by Celine Dion to myself. I had fun at work. Before I went to sleep, I listened to 10, I listed 10 good things that happened during the day and I tried to focus on the good around me, the sky, the sunny day, the birds. One night though, I thought I should call him. I call this inspired action. I recognize it by the urge in my heart. Hard to explain. So I called and he was so kind and wanted to talk to me. We got back together and he never wanted to leave me again. Believe people it's possible. I did it once. I can do it again to manifest another good person for me. Unfortunately, I lost him to cancer, but he will always live in my memory. It took me like a week back then through the law of attraction. And of course I had moments of desperation, crying and sad thoughts, but I'm a human being. And as long as I'm alive, I will keep feeling every emotion to the fullest. fullest. I just made sure I got back on track and forgave myself for feeling blue. Love and peace to everyone. Lovely Rapunz, thank you for sharing that. And I'm sorry to hear that he has passed on. Not an easy lesson when you have loved someone but it is unfortunately one of those parts of life that we need to learn to make peace with. Either people go or we go. Someone has to go first. And it sounds like you've done a really wonderful job making peace with that. So thank you very much for sh sending in your story. And I will put some bits and pieces down below that will help those of you that are still trying to manifest, still looking for just little things to do along the way to help the journey and to make it easier. And right now in December, which is going into holiday time, it is often a time where we feel more lonely, more sadness, more aloneness, not for everyone, but for a lot of people. And I want to send those of you that do feel that way, lots of love, and remember, try to do your best to just generate your own self-love. And it does mean that you attract more of it as you go through the holiday period into 2019. Lots of love and I will see you in the next YouTube.